In these perilous times, see from current events how biblical prophecy is coming to pass in front of our eyes. You're watching In the Last Days, the program that looks at Israel and the end times with teaching from a Hebraic perspective. With Martin and Natalie Blackham, thank you to our friends and partners who make this program possible. Now, here's Martin and Natalie. Hi, welcome to the In the Last Days television program with myself, Martin Blackham, and with my wife, Natalie Blackham. Great to have you with us today. Wherever you're watching, we welcome you across the UK, into Europe, and uh, by the internet. And you'll notice that we're both together this week. We um, have had guests on, and uh, we're welcoming you into 2014. This, I believe this is the first uh, time we've been together since the Han special uh, Hanukkah program that we did, Natalie. So we've got Lots of emails, we've got updates about the studio, we've got uh, information on how you can support us, we've got news from Israel, Natalie's got uh, some uh, a story she wants to tell you about what's happening in Israel at the moment, but I think what would be very good would be to go straight into the emails, we so much appreciate hearing from you, and don't forget you can email us at info at in the last days dot com. Now this is uh, the first, actually this is a letter, so you can also write to us um, and uh, I'm going to say the lady's uh, last name. Normally I don't do that, but it's just that otherwise we won't better say who she is. And it's from uh, Mrs. Yarwood, and she said, um, I've been watching your television shows and have found them uh, very interesting. Please would you send me some more information regarding yourselves and uh, what, what you're doing in Israel. So we've, we've sent that, Mrs. Yarwood. We have sent that off to you. You live in the Midlands of England, so thank you so much for your letter. And do write to us. We really appreciate to hear from you, and uh, your letters are very important to us. They're a very important encouragement. Now, this is also a letter, um, and this is from Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Phillips. Again, I apologize. I have to say that because I don't have a, a first name, and uh, they're, from, they're from the Cambridge area. And they said, would you please send us some details of how we can um, support you? We've watched you on television last night. Look forward to hearing from you. So I've sent that. If you're watching today, I have actually sent that to you. And um, it's because of the support of our friends and partners uh, who watch, Revela uh, watch Revelation television and watch In the Last Days television program that we can do the programs uh, that we're bringing to you from Israel. We're really, what we're doing here in Israel, we're flying the flag for Christian television. And we are on a regular basis bringing you uh, interviews, news, and features from the land of Israel. And we need your support to do that. So thank you so much for those who are standing with us already. Thank you so much for those who are supporting us on a regular basis. Um, if you would like to uh, donate to us, we're currently raising it's about £10,000, Natalie, for the, all the television equipment, and which is not a huge amount of money in television terms, but it, it is important for us. And we also need to raise something like about two to three thousand a month. So if you want to donate um, online, you can do that now with PayPal. And it's so easy because all you have to do is um, donate to the email address of Natalie, uh, which is natalieblackham at googlemail.com, I believe. Mm -hmm. And um, you just go on to just go on to the, if you've got PayPal, I know, and I'll come on to other ways of donating in a second, but if you've got PayPal, it's so easy. On their PayPal site, you just go to the Send Money um, uh, aster um, page, and then it says two, and you just put in uh, Natalie Blackham at Google Mail and the amount you'd like to donate, and that's it. So we, this is a fantastic way uh, enabling you to quickly be able to do a donation, and those who do checks and post orders can do it to our normal address. Sure. And the PayPal is very good, obviously, for the people who live out of the UK because we have a bank account in the UK. We have a bank account here, by the way, if people wanted. Oh, That's right. Not very many people usually are living in Israel, so it's a bit... But if you, if you get in touch with us, we'll put, on the, uh, we'll put onto the, the screen the details of um, Stephen Lorraine, who you can send a check to. Um, it's Stephen and Lorraine Holmes Stewart to Winham Drive, uh, Fairham, Hampshire, PO 16 AQE. And if you would like to uh, support us on a regular basis, that's on a monthly basis, uh, with a regular payment, because for a lot of people, Natalie, they can 
maybe not do a big donation, but they can do something regular every month. That's very important to us. And we can pop this in the post to you. This is a direct uh, debit mandate. Uh, you just fill it in and pop it into your local ba uh, bank. And you can also, by the way, um, support us at any branch of Barclays Bank. And if you email us or write to us, we'll send you all the details how you can do that. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Phillips. And by the way, if, if, you, if you have difficulty or um, is, you know you have some, there's some issues with donating, just email us or write to us and we'll see what we can do to... Um, to sort that out. I know, and, and also it's very important, you know, you're, we, are, we really want to bring you some stories from Israel, from the people of Israel, and also, you know, we are blessing Israel by being here. Uh, we, we've done, uh, you know, we've done already many programs, but when we have visitors who come, and sometimes we have visitors during the program, um, they say, you know what, we can see that you are not just blessing us in the UK or in the world to speak to us about it, but you are blessing also the Jewish people, that they can have a platform to say whatever they want, that they know that we are not going to cut you know, the thing and using what they are saying. We really want them to be free to be able to say what, what they want to say. And uh, there is a relationship with many people now in the land here, and it's very exciting to see these things. It's very touching. We, we are really going into a new level now of we have built uh, bridges and we are working now with a, a, a good amount of, of people and we can do some program again with them and we have some new new one coming and uh, it's very exciting. We want to tell you also that is people a lot in the UK who are watching and in Europe but there is people also from America and all around the world who start to find our YouTube channel. Now if you miss one of our programs you say hey I missed it this week you can go on our YouTube, you can go on our first of all website it's the easiest to find it. You go on our website, in the last, in the last com, and you go onto the YouTube and you find all the programs. Sometimes you can use it for yourself just to watch it again. And if you haven't understand everything or if you want like more of the teaching and, and pick up the thing or the news and you want to share the news, you know, we are using media, media, um, how do you say? Media connection, you know, a lot more and more. We're using Facebook. And you can use all these things. I know, we know that there is a lot of people who want to know some more about Hebrew, more about the family. We've done some very good uh, program, by the way. I have also... Oh, yeah, you've got an email. Yeah, I have an uh, email today. here from Tracy. And Tracy is saying, Hi, Natalie, I have just watched your program about the family. It was with uh, Rabbi Shmuel Bowman. I wanted to let you know that it was excellent and it is so great to hear about what the marriage and the family means for a Jewish perspective. Thank you so much, and I intend to watch more programs. And um, we have also some people from America who have discovered our program again because they were looking and searching for uh, Hebrew things, and they, they, they saw our program. And uh, I know that for the Americans, I still have a French accent. So it's a bit difficult, and they were saying to one of our friends, oh, you know, there is a couple, and uh, they are doing something, and the lady is a bit difficult to listen to. Um, for, the, for the British, usually, they are okay. We can understand you, yes. yes Thank you. Fine, uh, you will uh, get to know my accent after listening to many programs. But we are very happy. I come, obviously, I was born in France. When I came to um, Martin's country, many... In 1985, I started, which is a while ago now. And you've been and you've been doing television for a long time since 2004, yeah. uh, when with Revelation Television. Now, um, as I say, we so much appreciate hearing from you. It's so important, the emails and the letters, and that's why on this special IT of the update, we want to you know t um, tell you how important you are to us now. This is one email I'm not going to read out, funny enough, but I just wanted to thank uh, Janice, Jan, who watches the program. Thank you so much for writing to us, uh, as well as, of course, the fundraising. We have the actual issues of living in the land and all the paperwork and everything, and Janice is writing regarding that. So thank you so much, Janice. You know, there's a lot of people who are standing with us behind the scenes, Natalie, and we thank you today. Thank you uh, for that. And then um, this is from Pam. 
This is an email from Pam. She says, earlier today I watched your program with the head of MDA, Magan David Adam, the Israeli Ambulance and Emergency Service, and found it very interesting and informative. I've always thought these services, Natalie, were funded by the government. I was encouraged to hear of the financial support by Christians, which is another way of bonding with the Jewish people, which is really what we're trying to do uh, with the in, last, in the Last Days television program, is not just have interviews, not just have news and information, and we'll be talking in a, in a second about the news, but it's actually to build a bridge, uh, a connection that enables you at home to be able to see what's going on here in the land of Israel. And, the, and we're going to increase and it, that. And, it work, and it's working. And because we're in media, we know some media people also here. And we know Chris Mitchell from CBN. We know Tamara from CBN Russia. And we're starting to really build also something for Magan David Adom with the Christian friends of Magan David Adom. We see Christian, you know, touching uh, the Jewish people. And, and like, you know, supporting them is something really amazing. And it's very touching again when we're saying we do like one thing, we're learning things about the Jewish, our Jewish roots and all this kind of thing. But for them, we are really touching them, saying, hey, we are not by ourselves. And uh, we've done some program with um, Yishe Fleischer and different people. And again, for them, they can see that there is evan evangelical Christians. They are not always evangelical, but think, most of them. I think that a lot of these programs, like the ones with you, Shai Fleischer, will have been on by now, but I hopefully should be available for the viewers on YouTube. And yes, uh, yes. maybe we'll repeat some of them because they've been such excellent, such excellent programs. Now, one of the things uh, which is amazing for us, and this is a little bit behind the scenes today, is that because we're here in the land of Israel, we have this studio which is amazing that we can film from Jerusalem uh, to the UK. We're looking, uh, and we've talked a bit about this before, doing some live links, and we have done some testing with Revelation TV, and everything is working really well. Uh, some of you may know that we've been using a black background set, which um, it, we could, is in the other part of the studio where we're filming today, and we need some more lights, Natalie. We, yes. it, it's it's uh, coming on. Uh, we've done some interviews. They've been okay. One or two of them have been excellent, but one or two of them have not been so good, and it's a lighting issue. So uh, this is another reason that we need to raise finances because not just to s um, with the uh, equipment that we already have and not just to be in the land, but also to increase what we're doing uh, to do things like the new lighting for the black background set. We need your support. Now, if you're watching today and you say, this is just the kind of thing I want to support, that I want to invest into something like this, then let us know and we will let you know. And uh, we can say, we just say, it's 60, 60 pounds for one, one uh, lamp, isn't it? And we need two lamps. So it's 120. Uh, well, it may be a bit more because there's delivery and everything yeah, and, sure. a, and, and the yeah. tax and, and, and the, it may... <laughs> the thing is with equipment is that because it's, it's not just the, the purchase of the equipment yeah. itself, but it's also all the delivery and stuff. But if you're interested, we will do all the background work behind the scenes to work out how much that is. Now, Natalie, you have something you wanted to... Because time is ticking on the program and yes, uh, sure. you've got something you want yes. to tell us about today. We, want, we wanted to bring you a positive story and great story here. We already spoke about it a few years ago, but this little palm tree, which is called Matusela, like the, the oldest man in the, in the Bible, is growing. So you can see a picture of, of it now. It started to, um, the, first of all, they find the seed of this dead tree in 1973. You see the time for the people uh, to come back in the country and to be restored and to get all the things ready. He takes time to restore a lot of things. And you are not going to restore a, p a plant when you know that you have to build your house. So they've done a lot of things, Aliyah and all these things, and now they are more settled in the land. There is new things that they are doing. And so they are finding this seed. And uh, the seed is very old. It was found in Masada. I know the place of Masada was the last place where some Jewish people committed suicide because they didn't want to give their life back to, um, I mean, they didn't want to be massacred by the Romans. So they say, we are taking our life. We don't want to give up. And this is our way to uh, finish our life. So this is a quite a, a amazing place. 
and a lot of people, a lot of tourists are going over there. So they find some, some dates from uh, Masada and uh, a lady who, who works in um, Adassa, the hospital Adassa, and her name is, uh, because it's important, uh, her name is Ellen Soloway. Uh, she said, okay, we are going to try, you know, I, w I want to be able to try if we can grow the seeds. So they put some enzyme and good, good uh, soil. So they, and weren't, they weren't grow they were grown in kind of more a, a, lab, a lab than in a... Yeah, 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 of course, because they really have to, to look after it and give some extra uh, growth uh, and ram and, and all those kind of things to make it growing. So they did it, and in uh, 25, 2005, sorry, 2005, they planted it, and he started to blossom in 2011. And I remember uh, between 2005 and 2011, they were very afraid because it's a little plant at the beginning, and it now it's growing, and you can see it's, it's much robust. He started to blossom in 2011, and now they are going to do a cross breeding and with some um, date tree from Egypt, which is very similar. The DNA is, is very similar. And uh, this, this plant is a male plant. Don't ask me too much about all these things, but it is. And so they have to use, uh, they have to do a, a cross breeding and uh, they should be able to have some date. So while waiting, and again, all these things take time, and they said it would be in 2020 that uh, we might be able to see some, uh, some fruit. So we have to wait, see. But we tell you, you know, every year we try to bring the story again because we can see it growing, and it's quite ex extraordinary. Now, in the midst of that, you know that we love to give you a bit of Hebrew. So today, uh, attached to this story, do you remember how we said dead in Hebrew, Mark? I don't. Is it Tamar? Yeah, Tamar. That's it, Tamar. And Tamar is also the name for a lady, isn't it? Like, you can have a little girl and you can hear in the, on the street, Tamar, Tamar, bo, 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 e, bo, e, which means come, come here. So this is the name, you know, in Tamar, Hebrew. Tamar, now, for that. Now, Natalie, you need to tell them that. Uh, and some people might not know, because if you're new and if you've just tuned into the program, we're doing a very special ITLD update. Uh, with my uh, wife Natalie Blackham and myself Martin Blackham and we're talking uh, about the Hebrew and you can get uh, Natalie's book uh, The Beauty of the Hebrew Language. How can they get that? If they you just go on our website and you can see the book is there and we can send it uh, to you. You just do a PayPal. Uh, PayPal uh, now some people aren't really high tech with, um, which I quite understand, some people aren't high tech with PayPal or for some reason haven't got a PayPal account, you can just send a check uh, or a postal order to uh, Stephen Lorraine Holmes Stewart. I think the book is sure. 13 pounds. Or you know what pounds. you do, you do, you know you have friends and you say, hey, I give you the money, can you do the PayPal for me? More and more people are doing the same. I think some people don't always have okay, people Okay, so they can do a check, but they can do a check. But it's, it's 13 pounds. 13 pounds 99, 99 yes. and if you send a check or a postal order for 13 pounds 99 payable to Blackham Family Ministries to Stephen Lorraine Holmes Stewart uh, to Wynham Drive Fairham in Hampshire mm -hmm. uh, PO 163 QJ and we can put, pop that over to you uh, in the post and it's an amazing book it's um, very simple it goes through all the letters it go, uh, goes um, methodically and with revelation through all the letters of the Hebrew alphabet, uh, and uh, we'll get that and to speak you. About, and you speak about the future, what will happen in the future. And I wanted to say just <coughs> a little thing also in Hebrew, because I know people like to, to hear Hebrew, and you know we call the land of Israel the land who is flowing with milk and honey. Okay, so I'm just going to say the, the name for you, so you can have it in Hebrew. And it's Eretz Zavat Chalav Devash. So Eret is the land, Zavat is flowing, Chalav is milk, Vedevash is the honey. So here we go, a bit of a Hebrew again for you today. And uh, those are the Hebrew words? or mm -hmm. Okay, so the, uh, the, uh, the news at the moment, of course, um, whilst there isn't any particular, there's the war that's going on in um, Syria, which mm -hmm. is just on our border as we speak, uh, is very calm and peaceful in the land of Israel. However, there's a lot of work the security do 
uh, and the army and the military do to protect the land. And there is still missiles being fired in, uh, from the Gaza Strip into, into Israel, uh, albeit they don't come as far uh, in as Tel Aviv at the moment or as Jerusalem. But anyway, um, recently there was a, a, a bus bomb, unbelievable because we thought these things had been finished and that they didn't happen at the moment in Israel. Fortunately, or very sadly uh, for the people, but fortunately it didn't happen in Israel, it was actually in Egypt, and it says that a bus carrying South Korean tourists from Egypt to Israel was rigged with a time bomb for Elat. So the terrorists were trying uh, to um, carry out a terrorist, terrorist attack in Elat, but fortunately it happened in Egypt. But very sad uh, that some... Um, Korean. South Korean Christians were killed from a church group uh, on a 12-day trip through Turkey, Egypt, and Israel. So, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's amazing that even though it's very peaceful, and if you come, I'm all uh, talking about coming to Israel. I wanted to, to say to the viewers something that was, if you come to the land of Israel, and, and please don't everybody come at the same time because we won't be able to cope. But we wanted to encourage you that if you're able to, and we we realise that with a lot of um, tours of Israel, this may not be possible, but if you're available, uh, you're very welcome. We're very happy to show you the studio, and if you can't, obviously contact us in advance uh, to make sure um, that everything's okay with that. But uh, if you would like to come, we had some friends, uh, Richard and Christine, Christine who came, and uh, they really enjoyed, they were able to come and see the work that we were doing um, in, uh, in the studio. Mm -hmm. I want to speak also to you about Netanyahu, like Martin was speaking about Syria. And Netanyahu, uh, the Prime Minister of Israel, went to the Golan Heights. And in the north? In the north, yes. And it's close to Syria. And w I just want to show you a short clip of him saying, going to see some Syrian uh, wounded people who, who now is in uh, the hospital, it's the IDF. Uh, hospital IDF is the army, it's the Israeli army, and they are helping some people, and they are very concerned by what's happening in Syria. Obviously, they can't get in Syria, but some few people are coming now into Israel and are looked after, and uh, many lives are saved now. So just watch that. It's for you. Iran, Israel, Here's the dividing line on the Golan Heights between the good and the bad. The bad is what is happening on the Syrian side of this border where Syrian civilians, including children, whose screams we're hearing today are being butchered, are being pummeled, are being uh, hit by the air with uh, terrible bombs by the Assad regime. Who's supplying these bombs? Who's supplying these weapons? Iran. Who's giving the instructions? Iran. Who's giving the backing for this butchery? Iran. That's the bad. Here's the good. It's right near, right next to me. These are the doctors, the nurses, the soldiers of the Israeli Defense Forces that are giving help to these children. You can see these children right here. Some of them been, have been hit terribly. And the IDF under Israel is taking care with a humanitarian effort, unprecedented, to help these poor people. That's what I want to say to the world today when the P5 plus 1 uh, talks are resumed with Iran. Iran hasn't changed its aggression. It hasn't changed its savagery. It hasn't changed its support for the Assad regime while it's butchering its civilians. That's the true face of Iran. We should not forget it. So um, we are very pleased that we are able to show you these things so you can see the reality of life and that Israel wants to do good. Israel loves life and is very important. And, you know, that uh, some of the guests who are coming in have been so amazing, uh, really, Natalie. We recently had absolutely amazing, and hopefully it will be okay. We're still working on it technically behind the scenes, but we had uh, Alan Ambassador Alan Baker, who is one of the Levi Report. Now, uh, you uh, at home, you might not have heard of the Levi Report, but it's such an important report, such an important committee. And what it was was that, uh, as Natty was just saying about Netanyahu, Netanyahu commissioned a committee, a uh, three, uh, three-member committee who had detailed hearings, uh, and Alan Baker, 
who was our guest in the studio, was one of the committee members to decide on the legality of uh, Israel being in the land of Judea and Samaria. Now, the reason it's so important is because a lot of the time, and a lot of um, uh, people, uh, you, maybe even you at home, but a lot of people s say, well, they've got a right from the Bible, or they've got a right historically because they've been in the land. But Alan came in to explain to us that their right is legal to be in the land, and it was uh, such an amazing time with him. And, and not just in, not just legal in Israel, internationally leg legal, legal. So it's very important. And, and we want we want to show you also some few pictures of women in green. They are like heroes of uh, again. They they are really standing also for the Levi uh, report. They know that Samaria and Judea are so important. There is some push from uh, America and from the world that uh, you know there is this this uh, peace who has to happen with the Palestinians as they say speaking well there's no Palestinian nation no I know and, and we're speaking we're going to do some very good and some very interesting uh, uh, interviews or so with a man he's a Muslim and he wants to say to more and more people first of all the name Palestine Palestine is not in the Quran and which is very interesting and he stands for Israel he lives near uh, south of Hebron and he's a very brave man he's he has a clan he's an elder so he's he's very well respected and he's saying it's time for we're us to speak we're out of time Natalie already yeah it's always like that we you know because there's so much to tell you so much to to share with you and so many important things that are going on in the land and uh, if you've got any questions or you've watched the program and you need to contact us, don't forget you can email us at info at inthelastdays.com. Visit our website, www.inthelastdays.com. And remember, we're living in the last days. You've been watching In The Last Days, a TV program with Martin and Natalie Blackham, the program that looks at Israel and the end times with teaching from a Hebraic perspective. If you would like to financially support the program or find out about conferences, meetings, or ministry products, then please contact us with the details on your screen. Visit our easy-to-use website at www.inthelastdays.com and register for our free e-newsletter. Get the latest news from Israel, product information, online video teaching, or watch today's TV program at a time that's convenient to you. Thank you again, friends and partners, for making this program possible. See you same time, same station for the next program from In The Last Days.